Hey everybody, welcome back. It's the Mac, and welcome back to uh, Panzer Campaign Stalingrad 42 War Game Design Studios John Tiller Legacy Game. Right, so previous video was just an introduction basically, um, showing what comes with the game and the usual stuff. And uh, I have been sitting here trying to find a good scenario to play. And uh, there, there's I mean, every single scenario here is actually very interesting in the game. Uh, but uh, there are also many very large scenarios. So uh, I was sort of debating whether I should, how much I should commit. Because <laughs> there could be a heck of a lot of videos covering uh, some of these huge battles. But I decided that, I mean, as I went over the last video, the, the first couple of scenarios here, all the way up to Uranus, is the initial thrust of the Germans to reach uh, Stalingrad, basically. And then you have a bunch dealing about that massive attack of the, um, of the Russian encirclement of Stalingrad. And they had that one with the city. And, and then they break, here comes all, they break up uh, Uranus uh, here with many different famous battles of the Russians or, or important places where they actually broke through and crushed the Romanian defenders. Uh, and there, there, there's lots of interesting stuff here. Uh, this scenario here, one of my viewers actually uh, wrote about, it's the Operation Winter Storm. So that is the, the German counter or relief effort of the Sixth Army in Stalingrad, basically. And it kicked off the 12th there, sort of the morning or the 13th there, early hours. And uh, this would be really fun to play. I mean, 80, it's 84 turns though, man. It, it's a pretty, pretty long battle. Uh, covers like 10 days. It, it's pretty, pretty massive. Uh, but I'm Definitely, probably we're going to play that off camera. I'm not going to record it. Uh, I might play it, and I could maybe showcase some of the last turns or something. You guys can have a have a look at that. Uh, and then they that's the main thrust there. And then they have this. This is actually interesting as well. This is the one actually I'm thinking of playing. The Cheer River here. It's 20 turns. It's doable. Uh, so this this is read the. Uh, description here so this is pro this is going to be a pretty tough scenario actually uh, so it's december 12 1942 there it's the cheer rivers 140 uh, kilometers west of stalingrad uh, and it's intended to play as the axis human versus the ai so that that could be fun so the 11th panzer division was ordered into the don ben in order to assist the drive to relieve stalingrad from the south which began on december 10th the orders were to launch a flanking attack from Nichnechirskaya, approximately 60 kilometers from the trapped 6 Army forces of uh, Marinovka, to support the forces driving up from uh, Kotlin Kotlinikovsky and thus take pressure of the relief force. However, while preparing to move into position for the attack, the Russian army struck first across the Chir River in two locations. Ultimately, the mission to assist Stalingrad relief effort faded away due to a series of Russian offensives across Chir. So, um, designer note here, the Russians are much stronger in this scenario and is best played against the Soviet AI, or more experienced German against another human player. Sounds interesting, man. Uh, so they have the recommended rules. Okay, so there's two, there's, oh no, there's three versions of this uh, scenario. So the first one is just like the stock scenario there. And then you have uh, the alternate version edited by William uh, Volcanoman, Ed Volcanoman there. And then they have uh, like a specific one that's meant to play by email there. It's actually 18 turns, okay. So I was thinking of actually doing the, uh, the alternate version. Uh, so it might be better or, or not, but uh, let's give it a shot. So uh, the, the recommended rules are actually, so the, the default recommended rules are the ones for the stock, but the only difference really is the alternate result resolution. Uh, otherwise, the rules are, I think, basically the same. Uh, so 
give that a go. So look at the planning map here. Yeah, so this was the major attack there of the Uranus, the, the, the big attacks of the Russians. And uh, so it's not part of this map here, but I think uh, Manstein attacked here somewhere. He came, they came pretty far, man. I mean, they came pretty far up. Uh, but the Russians had a bunch of units. I mean, they, they, were, they had so many units. It's, it's just crazy. And uh, for once, their organization capabilities actually sort of sort of worked out, and they they sort of scrambled shock armies and stuff and countered the 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 Germans. And it was sort of a predictable place to attack as well. This bend here to would be the closest route to to get to Stalingrad, so the Sixth Army could could pull out. But uh, I, read, I mean, there's lots of confusion. The weather was lousy to start off with. It was, as always, on the eastern front. It was raining and cold and, and snowing and all kinds of crappy weather. And I think uh, the, Luftwaffe, the air forces were actually grounded for a couple of days as well during this attack. It cleared up and they could be used. So um, they didn't... The local air superiority was not the, the main thing, I guess, in, this, in, in, the, in the initial stages at least. And uh, so this one depicts then, the, I think, the attack out of this pocket here. The 11, I mean, no, that's right, sorry. Yeah, in the description said, because, yeah, this is sort of, this map is not really, it's just showing where the Russians actually went for the attack. But at this point now, all this would be uh, <laughs> Russian control, basically. And the Germans smashed through here but as they were planning to do that the the russians actually launched two maybe it was here actually two counterattacks, and they sort of stole that uh, at attack so well, let's, let's jump into the game and uh see what kind of stuff we got here so i haven't done that much research of this battle um so it's going to be fun and it's it's apparently it's going to be really tough as well since so it says the russians are really strong here so, see how it goes, man. Let's go okay. We're going to have automatic war, uh, fog war there. We're going to have manual there. So, the rules are, should be correct. I checked them earlier. Yeah. And let's see what happens, man. All right. So, it's a night turn. Core attachments are possible. Units that have been released. Kampfgruppe von Stumpfeld. Stumpfeld. One of 20 there. All right, so it's a, it kicks off in, at the middle of the night there, on the 12th there, okay. Uh, yeah, so you have the same zoom levels as all the other games. So it's going to be snow map, so it's going to be a lot of bright white light, I guess. All right, so what do we got here? Let's have a look at the map first. So we have Surovinkino here. Still on their on their German control there. Siri, uh, Siri, do, <laughs> I can't pronounce these Russians' name. Uh, Siri Dovsky, and uh, they got something going here as well. All right, and there we have that Noma uh, Kosimovsky uh, over there. All right, zoom in a bit so we can see what's going on here. Whoops. Uh, right. Okay. Let's have a look at. So look at the, uh, first of all, so look at the victory conditions. What do we need here? All right, we need about a lot. We, we got 500 points already due to our objectives. So we need 1,200 points for major. It's 250 there. And this is, there's 500 points just capturing those. And we need to hold on to our objectives. There's one should be one down there as well, yeah. Okay, well here's the Russian exit hexes. This is where they want to go through. All right. So, I th since these are already under Russian control, I think they've probably already made their uh, bridgeheads here, I guess. Because we can spot a, a Russian unit here, the 44th Motorized Rifle Brigade. It's actually here, and it's actually entrenched as well. Uh, right, so look at something more important. The uh, perimeter data is always important. So we get dawn at four o'clock. So next turn is going to be dawn. Dusk at six. Two hours a turn. Night turn is four hours. 
All right. So stacking limit is 350 men on a road and 1,400 a hex. That's good to know. All right. Um, basically all this, well, I'm not sure I need to have a check. It's usually these that are the most important. And of course, if you want to calculate movement points and stuff, then it's all here. All right. Okay, so what do I have here? What's going on, man? All right, uh, so look at some headquarters here. What's going on? What's, what's this way in the back here? We have 48 Panzer Corps. Let's get this going. It's General von Knobelstoff. 48 Panzer Corps there. So he should be in charge of the whole thing. It's some units here, actually, that are not under his command. Let's check those out later. And uh, what's this? We have Kampfgruppe Stummfield, the staff, the staff, um, staff there. All right, so he's got his units way up here. What's going on with that? We have a uh, Oberst Heilmann. He has a big unit there, a uh, 42 Grenadier Company. Still not having that uh, hard attack values. Soft 9 only, 12 Assault. Morale B though, so they're pretty good. Big unit though. So why are they there, holding that road there? Okay. I mean, it seems like these would be more important to hold. This is a river. Yeah, it's a river. Not sure if the Russians will try to sneak in there. All right, what else we got? So, uh, right, we do have the 11th Panzer, and they're going to be the main show of the battle here, I guess. Morale A, man. Okay, so they're pretty badasses. They're pretty spread out. Uh, let's see, we got some... 10 heavy armored cars down there. We have our recon is down here. Okay, that's interesting. Maybe they are heading this way. Check out this place here, maybe. Uh, what, what, what are all these units here? The 336 Infantry Division. Okay, so that should be here. Yeah, so they're, they're over there. They're, okay, they got some units up here as well. Pretty spread out. Alright, so I guess some of these guys are in improved locations. These guys are on the move here, it seems. And this. It's interesting. Uh, there probably will be Russian units here. I don't think they're here. This bridge is busted. So they'll probably have a crossing point somewhere over here. And they sort of have a big group of units here, probably. All right, so this was the... Okay, we have the 11th Panzer Division's anti-tank guns positioned there on that hill. Hmm, all right. So we got that. Elevation is 160 meters there, okay. So it's a slight hill there. And we have uh, these guys spread out all over the place here, the 11th, all right. All right, we got some flat guns there. What's this here? Okay, they have a small group there. Oberst Sel. And we have something on the flank here. It's the 7th Luftwaffe Field Division. Morale D. Alright, these guys are not that great. Uh, small units, comp small companies, soldiers only. Not the best um, training or attack values in these guys. We have a unit here. What's this? 
this is a pioneer platoon there okay so pretty small Luftwaffe contingent here they don't have any any anti-tank capabilities at all okay here we got something yeah they do uh they got three stug four uh, three f's early part of the stug there anti-tank only three vehicles and nine anti-tank guns 50 millimeter pack guns there they're good all right they got some artillery over here as well so i guess we guess i guess we were not on the i don't think we should move out i think we should just see where the russians pop up okay we got 88s man okay we got 488s on top of that hill this trench is there there is uh, the seventh uh, luftwaffe field division and uh What's this? Uh, Group Cell. We've got some guys here. Three hundred guys, man. Okay, we got some f flimsy anti-tank guns here. Okay, so they're all holding that. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, here's the 336 infantry division is holding this. They got some tank guns too. Just holding this place. Pretty weak flanks here. Alright, and the 11th is down here. Okay, zoom out a bit. Alright, so we got. What's this? Okay, that's their headquarters there. Okay. So the seven, the 11th Panzer is down here. Sort of in the in the middle here. Hmm. We got recon over here. We can spot one unit there, All right? Okay, what kind of artillery we got? We have the artillery that can fire. We only see we can only see one unit, and that and those guys entrenched there. Okay. Let's have a look at. Do we have anything arriving? Oh man, nothing. This is what we got to fend off. Air availability, nothing. Okay. All right. Well, what to do? We got night fatigue on as well, so this might not be the best to start moving around at night. We should probably just wait for the dawn and see what the Russians do. These guys seem to be on the move, though. I mean. The units that are on the move. Okay, so they're sort of holding a line here. I think I want to see what the, what where, where the Russians pop up. We're gonna to have to try and plug holes. Like, what kind of armor we got here? We so eleven Panzer. Right, we got armor here. Oh, look at this: forty-five Panzer three Gs. It's with the longest fifty-millimeter gun on it. All right, they can deal with the T-34, close close range, basically. Look at this, we got the Panzer IV Gs. The Panzer IV with the 75 gun on it. These are good, range two as well. All right, so I'm gonna, gonna be careful not to lose those. We got 24 Panzer Kraftwagens there. These are, um, yeah, these are the ones with the short 50 millimeter barrel, I think. You said KZ there. 24 vehicles. So that's all the armor I have. Okay, we have another flak gun here. This is good. Eight flak guns there, man. Okay. Yeah, I want to see what the Russians do here. Let's see obvious movement. So these guys here on the flank. Okay, there's some empty improved positions there. Can I... See how far they can move. One hex. Okay, they probably should not move at night. Just move them up there. Just leave them there. What's this? Uh, okay. Uh, leave the armor there. I guess we can do recon. It's night time. So I think they get one more hex. If anybody's hiding over here. 
it's a recon going here. Nothing. What else? Do we have any more recon? We did have something down here. But this seemed to be very off. This looks interesting. Alright, see what kind of guns we got. So let's barrage them. See if we can attack and just sort of see what happens. <laughs> Basically. Uh, so let's fire our guns. Ten heavy guns there. Okay, we got 105s. Only five guns, though. Okay, they're down here. And we have eight guns here. We did cause some slight casualties to those guys. Uh, right, another thing to check is probably command radius. If anything's out of command here, let's see. So we want to shade command range. Okay, so that headquarters needs to move up, man. It's just it's pretty far behind. Uh, let's see if I can get it a bit closer to the action there if i get in travel mode okay very slow movement i probably shouldn't move it now i'll get them in travel mode actually but i won't move them they do have morale a so they should have um they should not that easily be um, disrupted okay what's going on here that headquarters is out of, is out of command there Looks like the um, 11th is just, they're just about in the command range there. And this, yeah, many units are out of command here. That's bad. Okay, we need to move that headquarters up as well. D, I just want to see if they get one hex. Oh, man. Okay. All right. Um... So look at this situation here. This is, looks interesting. So we got some guys lined up here. They're pretty high fatigue. Very high fatigue. These guys. They've probably just been engaged in combat or something. Um, so I want to abandon these heights. It's pretty good. Um, let's see. A, let's probe them. Let's see how powerful these guys are. Okay, we just cost six casualties on them. Pretty good. Um, 120 men. So they are third group. I think they're they're actually in the same unit here. But they're sort of split up. Um, let's get them here, maybe. Okay, now we get shot at here. Two two casualties. Okay, three men killed. Three men. Okay. We've got 380 men here. So we, but there's nobody. There's no Russian unit there. There could be a unit here. Yeah, I want to be careful. I, okay, we're just going to exchange some fire here. Woo! Got him disrupted. Nice. Okay, hit by mortars. Two casualties, all right. Okay, so let's just end it here. See, see what happened at dawn. Let's call it um, uh, battle one, I guess. Okay, I got fast AI on. Oh, look at those heavy casualties there. We took barrages. Here we go. Yeah, so the Russians are attacking. Okay. Lots of armor. Okay, he's coming, man. Oh, man. Ho, ho. It's going to be tough. Okay, we're going to attack there as well. Right, those guys are hit hard. Okay, 
Okay, what happened? Did he just assault me there? Lost a gun. Ooh, alright. One out of seven headquarters is out of command. So that's okay. Two artillery units are available. One unit is low on ammo. Three units got back out of four checked. 17 units recovered fatigue. We did recover losses as well in 13 units. All right. Turn two of 20, man. Wow, look at this. All right. Okay, there's some stuff going on down here as well. Looks like they're sending you some cavalry there. Okay, there's the bridge. All right, we want to hold this, man. We want to plug this hole here. Okay, interesting. Okay, what's going on here? T-34s and uh, T-70s and T-60 tanks there. Disruption there, that's good. We did lose a flak gun here. We got armor. We should definitely counter these tanks coming in here. What's going on here? So he's holding on there. Just, ooh, look at that. We're pretty close to that artillery, man. If we can attack, take them out, we could do serious damage on the um, that position there. Okay, what's going on here? This is looking dangerous. This is kind of a weak front here. Yeah, so you're probably going to be caught in a dilemma here. Because you could be hit from hard from both sides. Where to disperse the 11th Panzer Division to sort of help out. Um, let's see. What's going on here? All right, we got lots of T-34s rumbling forward here with motorized infantry. Shitload of forces, man. Those T-34s smashed in to push those guys back. Got some engineers. All right, do we have any airstrikes? No, I don't think we have. All right. Okay, what's going on here? We're getting attacked here as well. Um, 119th Rifle Division is coming in there. 5th tank army. Oh, look at that. They got KV tanks as well. Ooh, those anti tank guns are not. Oh, 68 men. That is a small force there, man. These are, these are really light positions. This is good here. What's this? We got the 11th Panzer Division here. Big force. 504 men. Big force here as well. Wow. Okay. This is a tough battle. Let's have a look at barrages first. Ooh. We could use a lot. All right. So, um, the 7th uh, Luftwaffe Field Regiment, they have one battery of four guns here. All right. We need to help out here. But where to attack? Look at this fort. Okay, woo, they're in travel mode. Okay, that's good. Are these guys in travel mode? No. All right, we're going to need to hit these guys here. Big, two big forces there in travel mode. Let's see what kind of damage we can do here. Three men? Okay. It's only four guns. All right, what's this? Um, the 336. Most of their forces are here and around the town here. Okay, let's see what we've got. We've got infantry. Only 150 men there. 308. That's that's a bit better. These guys definitely need artillery support here. Let's hit these. One man. Yikes. All right. Uh, heavy guns. Ooh, we can hit this as well. These guys are going to get pushed back, man. We do have a big force here. Okay, they are part of that unit, it seems. They are part of them. 
All right. Okay, let's see here what we got. I uh, think I got guns to deal with them. Let's keep hammering these. One man. Oh, man. Light casualties. All right, this should be the 11th Panzer Division's artillery here. Um, not the best versus hard, so just let's just focus on soft targets. Um, those guys are all disrupted already. Let's, let's go for these guys here. Four men. Twelve guns, man. Woo, yeah, I got them disrupted. Good. Uh, heavy guns. Four versus hard. It's pretty bad as well. Looks like we can mostly hit tanks, though. But they hardly got weakened. I think we should just focus on the infantry and just set up our tanks, see if we can deal with the, the armor here. Most of these are actually single digits, except those uh, light tanks. Um, let's hammer these guys. Three men. Five. We got more guns here. Just keep hammering them. And our last battery in the south here. This belongs to the 336. Uh, they are disrupted. That's good. He's got some reconnaissance here, it seems. Like at least those uh, armored cars. Single digit artillery, that's okay. Um, so they got hit. They're disrupted. Maybe we should give them some sort of artillery support before we attack. One man, Z no effect. Ooh. All right, let's look at some obvious fire first here. Well, these guys are into the trenches, facing off. 321st Rifle Division there. Let's see what kind of damage we can do. We do have improved position and rubble. Two men. One man. Hip artillery. Uh, low, low casualties, man. One man. Okay, so the, the, these forces might not be as big but he's probably got a lot of them there moving on all right 88 they can be used only where these soft targets here uh, that's bad i want to go for the tanks man i want to go for this but moving them and stuff in the snow it's just going to be bad i guess we're just going to have to go hit these units no effect. No effect. Hip artillery. No effect. One measly casualty, man. Oh! Hip artillery. Alright, 308 men holding out here, facing off some guys running down there. Okay, let's go. Seven men. That was good. You know, got morale B. Eight. Wow. Okay, that's good. Uh, all right. Oh, man. This is bad. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, five anti tank guns. Okay. Uh, let's see if we can not get one of them heavy tanks first. Oh shit, Katishkas. Ouch! I think we should get the hell out of there, man. I'm pretty sure to pull back. We do have trenches, though. Let's see if we can take out some T-34s. Nope, just fatigue. Fatigue, alright. 
150 men facing. Don't know how many guys. All right, let's see what we can do here. Maybe I should pull them back. I'm not sure. We do have a trench here. Ooh, hit artillery. No effect. My two men. Effect. And uh, okay. See if we can take out the. Uh, we don't. Have, we're actually not dug in here. We're, we're in clear terrain, which is really bad for us. But he is disrupted here. Let's see if we, anti tank guns can uh, take out some, some tanks. No effect. One tank knocked out. Woohoo! Okay. What's this? We have 500 and. We have a big unit right behind this. This is actually a pretty big unit as well. This is the three. Um, part of the 336 infantry there. Um, these guys are in trouble. We do have the armor coming up there though. We have a big unit here as well. I don't know what kind of units are down here. We could try and encircle these units somehow. <laughs> wishful thinking there. Uh, very tempted to go for an assault, actually. Right off the bat. Low ammo as well. Let's attack the infantry first. Once. Five men. All right. No fate. 88. All right, let's definitely go for the heavy tanks. Fatigue. Four, four men. Um. Okay, we did take out a tank. Hit by artillery, two men. Let's hit those light tanks as well. That's good. Got disruption on him. No effect. Good. All right, these guys here. About 200 men. Almost 300. I'm going to go for an assault right off the bat and see what happens here. See if we can do it. Didn't they assault? Wow. We got 208 fatigue. <laughs> we did pull him back though. Uh, okay. Somehow they didn't attack there. Okay, so we can lay down some fire right on the on the artillery there. That's good. All right, what's going on in the far right? Uh, 157 men only. Um, cavalry there. Okay. Uh, well, let's attack them. One man. Ouch! Okay, they're, they're pretty dangerous. All right, it's all the firing we can do. Okay, so this is, I'm going to cut this uh, this part now. I'm going to continue in the next. Otherwise, they're going to be too long. It's easy to get stuck in these <laughs> and forget about time. Uh, but okay, we've done all the preliminary firing. Uh, it's time to get some maneuvering going and see what's, what the Russians are up to here. It's probably going to be a tough fight now, but it looks fun. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next part.